Okay, we're ready for part three of the multimeter. As mentioned in the very first segment, we said that the multimeter is really used for three main purposes. Measurements of voltages, measurements of current, and measurements of resistance. So we've measured AC and DC electricity. And we've seen how if we have a situation where we're measuring DC across a battery and we have the meter set to AC at red zero. We're going to shift gears and now look at resistance. Resistance is the opposition to current flow. What we want to know is how much of a load that item is when it's placed onto a power source. And so the multimeter works by using the 9 volt battery internal to it to create a 5 volt reference. That 5 volt reference then when this meter is set to resistance and so we're going to look for the omega ohm symbol and this little buzzer symbol. And the omega symbol is going to measure our resistance or the opposition to current flow in the unit of measure of ohms. The 5 volt power source that's being generated by the 9 volt battery is actually flowing through the meter and it will then flow through a circuit that we have constructed. So I have a very simple resistor here and I measure across this thing as such and you can see that I'm reading somewhere near 22 K ohms. What happens is the 5 volt from the power source flows through the red lead through my load which in this case is a resistor back to the black lead and into the common and the measurement says okay I've got 5 volts hey I'm noticing I've got this much current flow that means I have this much resistance so what is absolutely critical to know is you cannot ever measure resistances in a circuit when the power is applied. You will just simply destroy the multimeter. If you're lucky you'll get some erroneous results but you cannot ever 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 measure resistances in a live circuit. Everything must be powered down and de-energized. In later segments we'll show you how to measure complex circuits with multiple inputs and outputs but if you have multiple resistances say in a circuit you can you have to physically remove that component to measurement. Now there will be exceptions but Historically, we want to remove that item from the circuit, measure it, and then put it back. So resistance is the opposition to current flow. Its unit of measure is the ohm and resistance. The second little setting that is on our multimeter is this buzzer slash continuity tester. So in the perfect world, everything that's a conductor will buzz. Anything that is an open or an infinite amount of resistance would act as an open. And so the Go, no go gauge that we have here for continuity just simply tells me whether I have the presence of a wire or a presence of an open. So if I take this multimeter, set it to resistance slash continuity, which is the buzzer sound, set it to the buzzer sound, I'm going to read an open in this case. Whereas just a second before, when I had it off the continuity but resistance, it actually gave me a reading of about 22K. So what we're saying here is this resistor appears to have a high enough resistance that it cannot act as a conductor. Now if I take a fuse on the other hand, and I want to check to see whether this fuse is good or bad, I can use it on continuity. So we're going to leave it right now on ohms and measure the resistance of a good fuse. And notice the resistance of a good fuse is somewhere near, and it should be real low. And it looks like it's 0 0.8 to 0.4 or 3 here of an ohm. And that's just telling me I've got a good connection inside of that fuse. And now set our multimeter to connectivity to measure continuity. And continuity, notice it's buzzing. I really don't care what the resistance is. I just want to know that I've got continuity. That means this is a good fuse. Whereas if I have a bad fuse and it's blown out, I'm not going to get it to register at all. So let's say I've got a resistor. Notice it's open. It's too high. So if I have a bad fuse, it's going to read an open. It won't buzz. If it's a good fuse, it'll buzz. So to highlight the last big points of a multimeter, remember there's three main sections to a multimeter. There is the location of where the leads go, common, and again it's still to the ohms in the volt setting because that's what it was set there. The dial needs to be set to register resistance and then I want to select whether it's continuity or resistance. And this is going to be true for any multimeter. The layout will be different but the functionalities have to remain the same. In a perfect world a conductor, a piece of wire will have zero ohms of resistance while a resistor in air tend to have up to infinite resistance. It's an open and we can measure that difference of resistance and continuity which is a go, it's a buzz, or no go where it's an open. And that's how we can check to see whether we've got faulty broken wires, bad fuses, or we can measure and know the exact value of resistors.